Hey, welcome to BA 3D Printing, where we talk about everything you need to know to become a better 3D printer. Today we'll be in Fusion 360 talking about how to design a really simple vase so that you can print it in vase mode. Let's jump right in. For creating this simple vase, we are actually gonna start with a form. Now, I really like these forms because it allows me to visually see what's going on as I'm creating this. We're gonna use a cylinder because that's the closest to our finished object that we have here. And I'm gonna start on top with just a really simple 100 millimeter sketch. You can set this to whatever your desired results are. And I'm gonna go with that. And the next step here is I like to actually see what's going on. As you can see, I've got four layers here or four directional faces for the height. And I'm gonna set my height to 200, to 200 so that we have about a eight inch tall base. And the number of faces for the height, I'm gonna set this to 10. The more faces that you set here, the smoother you can make your uh, transitions or your curves. So I like to go with about 10. And then on the diameter faces, I'm gonna leave this at eight, which is the standard for what I've been doing recently. And the more of these you add, it just allows you to add twists or more dimensions to your vases as you design them. Uh, so we're gonna run with this today. So I'm gonna say, okay. And I like to pick one side to work from and we're gonna choose the front right here. So while I've got this front selected, I need to choose each of these lines right here and grab the entire um, circumference. So just a quick double click and I can right click, edit form, and using this little circle, I can push and pull all of the dimensions. So now I can start building out my vase. And if I'm gonna build something similar to what we were just looking at, I'm gonna to try to push this out a little bit. I don't like to go more than 0.4, at a time. So as you can see, if I push this to 1.4, um, I'm getting really close to horizontal, which your vase mode will not like. So I'm gonna, push this back down to about 1.3, 1.2, somewhere in that range. And say, okay, now I'm gonna do this to each one of these layers as we move up until I get the desired result that I'm looking for. Okay, now that I've got a rough sketch, I'm gonna look at it, see if there's any changes that I would like to make to this. But for the most part, this looks pretty good. Uh, nice little chubby vase that I've got here. I do have this edge I gotta work on. It looks like it's a little bit rough and not as smooth as I'd like it to be. So we'll zoom in, grab this one, and make a couple small adjustments to it to try to smooth it out just a little bit. I like something about like that. Okay, all right, we're gonna run with this. Nice little chubby vase that we have here. Now the next step is we need to add a constraint or to like the top and to the bottom of this so that we can fill it in with a really simple constraint fill. And in doing that, we are going to finish this sketch and call that good. And we'll jump back to the front so I can see what we have going on here. And I'm gonna do a simple construct and offset plane. And I'm gonna choose, but by clicking on my X axis or this red line here, I can click on that and drag this up to 200 millimeters when it should snap in right there. And now I know that's right to the top of the vase and say, okay. And then I'm gonna construct one on the bottom as well. A very simple offset plane. And just by simply clicking on this X axis or this red line again, and leaving it at zero, I can say, okay. So now I have, if I move this around, you'll see I have a little tiny plane right here. And on top, I've got another plane that I can now use as a boundary fill. Um, so we're gonna come back to here and do a create and come down to boundary fill 
which looks like this. And this can get a little bit tricky. I remember the first time I used this, it just didn't make a ton of sense, but you get the hang of it very quickly. You have to start off by clicking the right plane. So I know I'm looking for this little itty bitty plane in here. So I'm gonna select that one. And then I'm going to select the vase itself. And then I'm gonna select this top plane. And when I do that, it's gonna give me a, the option to check this box. So I need to select that cell. And by selecting that cell, I'm telling it to fill everything from the bottom to the top in this area and say, okay. So now if you notice, if I come over to bodies, I now have a body and I can turn off this and I can turn off my construction planes. So here we've got the vase. And right now this vase is ready to go. If I wanted to make any changes to it, I could do that at this time. But in all honesty, this is this looks pretty good. So what I would do now is export this um, as a mesh. So I'm gonna grab my body two, go to save as a mesh. Now, when I use that file, it will be able to go into whatever slicer I'm using, set it to vase mode and make sure that the top layers are set to zero. And I will have a really, really awesome vase that I can use for anything that I want. It's going to turn out awesome. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be trying to put these out a few times a week and don't want you to miss those notifications. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again here from the BA 3D printing channel.